Hello everybody, it's Homestar92. Welcome to part 15 of Let's Play The Wind Waker. Um, we have a lot of sailing ahead of us, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to the King of Red Lions since it's required. Even though I know what I have to do next. He's basically going to tell us we need to sail to the south. So let's make it, make the wind go south. Now we're going to be sailing for probably close to five minutes, to be honest. And I'm not going to cut it or speed it up, at least not in this part. I want to actually take a vote. Do you want me to keep all the sailing parts? Since really, there won't really be that many. I mean, they're only going to be between dungeons. Um, we're going to run into a little visitor here. But anyway, yeah, he is going to fill in our seed chart and explain to us that if you see his fish buddies and give them bait, they will help you fill in your seed chart as well. But, okay, basically what I want to know is, do you guys want me to leave the sailing in, speed it up and add music, or speed it up and add narration and post? Because, quite honestly... If I the way Movie Maker works, I can't speed up my narration, so I can't really keep my original narration if I speed it up, obviously. So I don't want to spend too much time in editing, obviously. So and no, that thing on the horizon, that shadow, that is not our final destination. I want to be heading as close to exact south as I can get, so that I can get the top speed. I've already got 164 rupees, so and there will be some treasure spots on the way, but they're mostly going to be 20 rupees, so I'm not going to worry with them. But I'm going to play this little mini game of sorts that involves collecting rupees. If you go through one of those like makeshift gates of barrels, basically, you'll start seeing rupees pop up. And of course you can collect these rupees, they will eventually turn into 5s and then eventually into 10s, maybe 20s, I've never really played it far enough to know. This will slow us down a little bit, but not really too much. You can kind of see our destination coming up on the horizon now. It's becoming slightly visible. But yeah, I guess other than that, it's just kind of chill. There is actually an island of some sort in every little square. So yeah, there's a lot of islands. Is that our fish buddy over there? Maybe not. If I see our fish buddy, I'll be sure to feed him, because I do like having a full sea chart. Um, stay away from these guys. Obviously, tornadoes at sea. Never a good thing. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, get away, get away, get away! Ah, we're good. There's our fish buddy! Get the bait! He's right there. And here he comes, and he's gonna fill in our seed chart. Noise, noise, we're at four minutes. open the C chart. Yeah, I'm really sorry about how long this is going to take, but I'm giving you the choice for what you want me to do from here on out. Um, I don't care. I can always read that later in the video. And it, w it would probably help if I got my sail back out, wouldn't it? There's Beetle, just kind of floating around. Let's go due south. And we're up getting closer. It'll probably be six minutes when we get there. Octorok. Stay away, me no likey. Um, I would check my map, but that's just gonna take more time. We're getting there. Slowly but surely, we shall be there soon enough. Yep, we are headed in the right direction. Here's another 
island. Oh, there's our fish buddy again. What luck. I'm trying to make this as interesting as I can, I promise. But there's really only so much you can do. Yes, yes, grab the food. Fill in my sea chart, boy. And what do we got? Bomb Island. Well, I guess it is aptly named, considering the shape. I'll actually read this this time. You ought to come sail on nights when the half, right half of the moon is rising. Okay. Now, you can see our destination up here. It's the two big islands with the middle one, and don't feed him again. It's the same fish. He just kind of moved a little bit. And you can see a glowing spot there. What's there is actually treasure. And I've already checked that in a past run where it took me all 11 minutes to get here because of me goofing around with the treasure. That particular one is just rupees. So I'm not going to worry about it because I want to get there as quick as possible. We're already at about 6.15 so I really would just like to get there quickly. Of course we won't have to sail all the way. It'll King of Red Lions will kick in pretty soon saying, hey, you see where we are? And then he'll bring it in. So I'll go ahead and grab these rupees since we're getting close. Once you can see the whirlwind, you know you're pretty close. This game is just so, so huge. Like, it's unbelievable that all this fits on a GameCube disc. Do you not see what rises up from the horizon? Yes, I see it. The Forest Haven. I promise, I got there as quickly as I could. I know it took seven minutes. But, like I said, that's really not a fun part of the Let's Play to do. But I gave you the choice. Stupid telephone is ringing. I hope someone gets that. So I gave you the choice. The telephone is ringing. So you can certainly do that. Last time I dawdled around so long that the mailbox was actually shaking with our prize from that last little thing we did in my bonus feature. We're gonna get a new category thing for our spoils bag, the Boko Baba Seed. All of this stuff will come into play later, I'm sure. I really don't know. I hate those stupid bushes. Why can't you walk through them? And of course, the Boko Sticks... Oh crap. Spit me out, please. Please? Thank you. And for that, you die. Okay, I'm trying to cover the ground here as quickly as possible, considering that, you know, I took so long to get here. But like I said, I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna cut it just yet. I'm gonna give you guys the choice for what you want. I'm gonna align myself correctly so I don't have to do it again. And that should be good. Haha, -ha, good stuff. Die. I should kill him and give us a clean line of sight because if you miss your jump you're gonna fall in the water and the currents are brutal oops I'm not used to that being my button configuration and I can't really tell for sure but since I'm at nine and a half minutes I'll probably end up cutting this here depending on how far I end up recording so if that's the case, I guess it is.